So in this example, I have all my drums been sent to bus one for reverb effect. I also have my drum overheads been sent to bus two for compression. And all my guitar tracks been sent to bus three for overall compression as well. These are all been sent down to these aughts tracks down here. But now I want to see the faders for each individual channel so I can make quick changes to change the amount that each channel has been to an aux individually. For example, so I can maybe send less snare to the uh, reverb track without affecting the amount of kick or overheads that's been sent over there. And for any other example you want to come up with, it'll work in that fashion. To look at each individual fader, just go up to view, then simply choose which which sends you want to see. That That's referring to this being A, B, C, and so forth. Just go to, go to view, then check, let's go to A, send A. And now that's where my reverb for my drum tracks is living. So now all my faders for the drums being sent to reverb is sh shown right there. Let's get some music playing. So you see, now I can fetch the amount. You can hear, you can hear that in the kick. And the same is for any of. It's all, it's all the same. It's just being, it's just affecting the amount of each channel that's been that's been sent to the reverb. Now, say I want to go change the, the amount of compression in my overheads. That's in sends B. So just go back down to sends and view. Go down to send B. Now you can see the compression for my overheads. I also have my guitar tracks in B as well. I put them in the same send folder since it's all compression just to keep it more organized that way. So now I can affect that the same. Although it's best to keep the overheads at the same level so it doesn't sound too funky. No phasing issues and whatnot. The same obviously can be done for all the guitar tracks. Don't worry, this one over here is working just fine. It's just that the guitar track, that specific guitar track was not playing at that time. And now if I want to go add more, go add more sends or just look at all the sends that are there, as it was shown at the beginning of this video, just go back to view, go back to a sends folder, click assignments. Now you have all of your send assignments here. You can make new ones and whatnot, change them. That that's basically it.